Hello friends, welcome to AIMS Today YouTube channel, NEAT Foundation Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about famous biologists like Aristotle, Galen, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, Robert Hooke, Carolus Linnaeus, Charles Darwin, etc. You know, scientists uh, are very important. They contributed their knowledge to our understanding of biology concepts. Without them, it is not possible to understand uh, the typical concepts in biology. The famous biologists, number one, Aristotle. Aristotle is famous for the classification of living things. He belongs to 384-332 BC. Aristotle's zoology and the classification of species was his greatest contribution to the history of biology. Aristotle was the first to classify all living things and some of his groups are still used today like the vertebrates and invertebrates which he called animals with uh, blood and without blood aristotle was called the father of biology he revealed his thoughts about various aspects of the life of plants and animals he also contributed his knowledge in the embryology also he is also called the father of zoology. Next uh, famous biologist, Galen, the famous for introducing medical experimentation. He belongs to 129-161 AD. The life work of Greek physician Galen revolutionized the way in which medical research was and is conducted. Galen had a major influence on the development of many fields of medicine including anatomy, pathology, physiology and neurology. This great personality, Claudius Galen, is a Roman physician and philosopher of Greek origin. Galen earned a reputation as a practitioner and a public demonstrator of anatomy and uh, preferred extensive dissections and uh, in the animals. The Galen described many formulae containing plants and animal drugs which he compiled this knowledge in 20 books called Galen works. His theories dominated and influenced the medical science for well over a million. The notable discoveries include the identification of the differences between veins and arteries and recognizing that the larynx generates voice. Larynx is called voice box. So it was proved by this gallon. Next, the famous biologist Anton van Leeuwenhoek known as uh, father of uh, microbiology the 16th and 17th century, 1632 to 1723. Leeuwenhoek is well known for his contributions to microscopy and how he applied this to the field of biology. He revolutionized a technique for creating powerful lenses which some speculate were able to magnify up to 500 times. Leeuwenhoek used the microscopes to find out more about the living world. His discoveries include bacteria, the vacuole of the cell 
and banded pattern of muscle fibers okay by his own microscopes he studied different biological fluids and discovered the bacteria he called the he also introduced uh, uh, the unicellular organisms protozoa he is the famous person that's why he is popularly called the father of microbiology next uh, famous biologist robert hook the famous for discovering the cell 1635 to 1703 the period hook was primarily a physics and chemistry specialist but his discovery of cell has been monumentally impactful on the world of biology hook had an extraordinary ability to manipulate microscopes and when applying this ability to looking closely at a thin slice of cork observed empty spaces contained with walls and the term cell was introduced by robert hook we know that cells are the building blocks of life robert hook he is an english natural philosopher the first person to see a cell under a microscope the f- he is the first person to describe the unit life to be called a cell he invented the compound microscope he became a scientist in the year 1655 when he was only 20 years old when robert hook was 27 years old he was appointed curator of experiments next famous biologist uh, carl linnaeus known as father of modern taxonomy between the period 1707 to 1775 a botanist physician and zoologist all at the same time linnaeus came up with the system of naming ranking and classifying organisms that we still use today it was his vast collection of specimens of plants and animals and shells that lead to linnaeus coming up with a way of grouping and naming species he separated all living things into three kingdoms animals plants and minerals subdividing them into classes then into orders and then finally into genera and species carolus linnaeus is a father of taxonomy widely known for two contributions the first one is classification and binomial nomenclature of organisms he said that every organism can be named with two names that is generic name and specific name he classified nature into kingdoms classes orders genera and species which exist till today with uh, some changes little changes he named uh, 4400 animal species and 7700 plant species through his binomial nomenclature a two part scientific name in latin for every species he was appointed the chief royal physician in 1747 and uh, knighted by king of sweden in 1778 his uh, famous book systema naturae explains about this species of plants and uh, animals next important uh, and the famous scientist uh, charles darwin he is famous for the theory of evolution probably the most famous naturalist of all time darwin's contribution to biology and the society is beyond imagination he established that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors the existence of new species occurring via the process of natural selection 
According to Charles Darwin, the biological evolution changed in the species over time. This was not a new idea at the time, but there were no good mechanisms to explain how these changes occurred. The natural selection is just such a mechanism and this is what the Darwin contributed. According to him, nature itself select the better one, the survival of the fittest, the concept. His theory of evolution was published in on the origin of species in 1859 and it caused the quiet the stir darwin was disputing the long held belief that all species had been created by god at the beginning of the world hello friends welcome to aims today youtube channel neat foundation biology about famous biologists in this video we are going to discuss about some of the famous biologists who contributed their knowledge to our understanding of biology. Grieger Mendel, the founder of modern genetics. Mendel used peas, pea plant to discover and demonstrate the laws of genetic inheritance, coining the terms dominant and recessive genes in this process. The laws were discovered at the turn of the 20th century and provided the mechanism by which uh, Darwin's theory of natural selection can occur. The two famous laws introduced by Grieger John Mendel, law of segregation and uh, law of independent assortment. Genetic is the field of uh, biology that studies how characteristics or traits are passed from parent to children. Grieger Mendel, often considered as the father of genetics, was the Austrian monk, gardened and grew peace in the mid 1800s. He looked at seven different traits in the pea plants that is, height, pod appearance, seed texture, position of flowers, flower color pod color, seed color, etc. The two theories combine to form out current understanding of the evolutionary process. Next, the famous biologist, Alfred Russell Wallace, the famous for Wallace line. The research of British naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace played a pivotal role in developing the theory of natural selection. Wallace collected more than 1 lakh insect, bird and animal specimens which he gave to British museums. He is a Russell Wallace, biologist, naturalist and explorer. He studied geographical distribution of animal species in his biography and influenced by Malthus, the famous personality who wrote uh, an essay on uh, growth of population, they realized that the species diverse from similar ones due to environmental pressures. And uh, Wallace developed his own theory of evolution very similar to Darwin's. Next, uh, Watson and Crick, famous for discovering the structure of DNA. In 1962, Francis Crick and James Watson shot to fame in 1962 for their discovery of the structure of DNA, winning the medical Nobel Prize in the process. Their model of DNA double helix explains how DNA replicates and how hereditary information is coded and passed on. Watson and Crick discovered the double helix by building models to conform to X-ray data. Watson saw an X-ray photo of DNA produced by Rosalind Franklin. Watson and Crick deducted from Franklin data, that one. And she also got the Nobel Prize along with this because um, she died of uh, cancer due to 
uh, more exposed to the x-rays the discovery of the structure has led to a much more developed understanding of function used in disease diagnosis and treatment and even in forensic science also it is useful detecting the criminals later famous another scientist uh, wilmot and campbell the famous for being the first scientist to clone a mammal in 1996 keith campbell and uh, ian wilmot cloned a mammal famously named dolly the sheep the pair cloned dolly using uh, a single adult sheep cell and a process of nuclear transfer dolly died after only 6 years but uh, cloning continues although still not perfected and certainly not ready for human application at the ian wilmot and keith campbell two are famous for cloning process next famous scientist jagdish chandra bose sir jagdish chandra bose is one of the most prominent first indian scientist who proved by experimentation that both animals and plants share much is common he demonstrated that plants are also sensitive to heat cold light noise and various other external stimuli the modern scientist jagdish chandra bose was the first scientist to discover that plants too are living beings and have similar life cycles and functions like animals he pioneered investigation of radio and microwave optics i triple e named him one of the fathers of radio science he is a, a biophysicist invented crescograph an instrument for measuring the growth of plants a crater on the moon has been named in his honor bose contrived a very sophisticated instrument called crescograph which could record and observe the minute responses because of external stimulants it was capable of magnifying the motion of plant tissue to about 10000 times of their actual size which found many similarities between plants and other living organisms so he is the person who proved that plants also has life next famous our indian scientist monkombu sambasivan swaminathan ms swaminathan is an indian genetics and international administrator renowned for his leading role in indians in india's green revolution where high yield varieties of wheat and rice seedlings were planted in the field of poor farmers he is known as indian father of green revolution for his uh, sincere leadership and success in developing high yielding varieties of wheat in india ms swaminathan monkombu sambashivan swaminathan is an indian genesist and international administrator born in tamil nadu father of indian green revolution for his leadership and successful in introducing the and further developing the high varieties of wheat moving india to sustainable development especially using environmental sustainable agriculture sustainable food security and uh, the preservation of uh, biodiversity which he calls an evergreen revolution he worked as a director general of uh, icar irri and iucn the founder of ms swaminathan research foundation in chennai and um, as a chairman of the national commission on agriculture national commission on farmers etc the great personality hello friends welcome to aims today youtube channel you are watching neat foundation biology in this video we are going to discuss about famous biologists who contributed their knowledge to our understanding of biology birbal sahani 
Birbal Sahani is the third son of uh, Ishwari Devi and uh, Lala Ruchi Ram Sahani was born in Behra, Shahpur district, West Punjab. He was an Indian paleo, paleo botanist who studied the fossils of Indian subcontinent. And also a geologist took interest in archaeology. He was an Indian paleobotanist who studied the fossils of the Indian subcontinent. He also took an interest in geology and archaeology. He founded what is now the Birbal Sahani Institute of Paleobotany at Lucknow in 1946 he established. His major contributions were in the study of the fossil plants of India and in plant evolution. He was also involved in the establishment of Indian science education. Birbal served as the president of the National Academy of Sciences India and as an honorary president of the International Botanical Congress. He was appointed the first professor and the head of the botany department of the Lucknow University in 1921, a position he retained until his death. The University of Cambridge recognized his researches by the award of degree of SCD in 1929. He was the founder of uh, the Paleobotanical Society which established the Institute of Paleobotany on 10th September 1946. Sahni was interested in the music and could play in the sitar and the violin. He was also interested in clay modeling and in playing chess and tennis. The Birbal Sahni gold medal for the students of botany was instituted in his memory. Next, uh, famous biologist Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur was a French biologist, microbiologist and chemist renowned for his discoveries of the principles of vaccination, microbial fermentation and pasteurization technique. He is remembered for his remarkable break thoughts in the case and prevention in the causes and prevention of diseases and his discoveries have saved many lives, many industries ever since. He was a French biologist and he created the first vaccine for rabies and anthrax and he is the best known to the general public for his invention of the technique of treating milk and wine to stop bacterial contamination, a process now called pasteurization. He is uh, regarded as one of the three main founders of uh, bacteriology together with uh, Coach Ferdinand Kohn and Robert Koch and is popularly known as the father of microbiology under the auspices of the French Academy of Sciences. He demonstrated that in sterilized and sealed flasks nothing ever developed and in sterilized but uh, open flask microorganisms could grow. The pasture made significant discoveries in chemistry most notably on the molecular basis for the asymmetry of certain crystals and uh, racemization. He was the director of the pasture institute established in 1887 until his death and his body was uh, interred in a vault beneath uh, the institute. So, he developed the vaccines for anthrax and rabies and he created the process of pasteurization which we are following now. The famous another uh, biologist Edward Jenner and uh, crea he created the first effective vaccine for smallpox. Edward Jenner is considered as the father of immunology mainly because of his uh, pioneering work uh, on the smallpox vaccine and the use of vaccination. The vaccination was first started by this Edward Jenner 
Edward Jenner is considered as father of uh, immunology. Next, uh, Joseph Presley. He is famous for um, discovery of oxygen. Joseph Presley's uh, contribution to the world of science includes his identification of oxygen in its uh, gaseous state. His other works include the invention of soda water and discovery of other gases. Of course, his most famous discovery of uh, deforesticated air. Oxygen remains his most famous discovery. Next, uh, Robert Brown. Robert Brown is famous for uh, the discovery of nucleus, cell nucleus, specializing uh, in botany. Scottish born Robert Brown introduced the model that helped describe random movements of uh, cells, which is known as particle theory or more aptly called Brownian motion. Among his contributions to the world of science was his description in detail of the cell nucleus in all living things. Next, uh, the famous biologist Andrew Vassalis. Andrew Vassalis uh, is famous uh, on the fabric of the human body. He is born in Brussels, Hasburg, Netherlands in 1514. Andrew Vassalis is the noted author of one of the earliest books of anatomy on the fabric of the human body. It is a famous book in anatomy. He is considered as the founder of modern human anatomy. Andres Vesalius is considered as founder of modern human anatomy. Hello friends, welcome to AIMS Today YouTube channel. You are watching Neat Foundation Biology. The biologists and their contribution to our understanding of biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about some more biologists. Hippocrates, he is famous, uh, called as the father of Western medicine. And he is the first person to attribute the disease to natural causes rather than caused by the superstition that it is caused by gods. He is called father of medicine. Theodor Schwann. Theodor Schwann was an anatomist and physiologist who is best known for developing the cell doctrine or cell theory that all living things are composed of cells. He established that the cell is the basic unit of all living things. Schwann discovered the enzyme pepsin and discovered glial cells in nerves and their these are now known as uh, Schwann cells. Schwann um, is a zoologist. He studied different animal cells under microscopes and stated that all animals are formed from or made up of uh, structural and functional units called cells. Next, uh, Rudolf Virchow. Rudolf Virchow was the eminent pathologist and politician widely regarded as one of the greatest and most influential physicians in history, a founding father of both pathology and uh, social medicine. Virchow analyzed uh, the effects of disease in various organs and tissues of the human body. He studied the cell division and he proposed that the new cells are formed from pre-existing cells, which is one of the points included in the modern cell theory. Salman Waxman. Salman Waxman and his uh, research teams discovered antibiotics made by soil dwelling bacteria. The word antibiotic was coined by Waxman. One of the antibiotics made by these bacteria was streptomycin. Streptomycin is the first effective treatment for tuberculosis. Waxman, a pioneer in the field of soil microbiology, was the sole recipient of the 1952 Nobel Prize in Physiology or 
ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್